my study coaching program focuses on exam technique, study habits, your brain and mindset, your emotions and your fears. Everything we do in our studies is in order to get through that exam, in order to, in order to pass that exam. A very challenging part of that process is balancing out the studying itself with how to pass that exam. And that's where exam technique comes in. Exam technique is about the skills, the tools, and the way that you write that exam in order to let the examiner know that you are competent, that you can get the marks that are on the mark plan. That means that you need, in a lot of cases, to change your study habits and to improve your study habits. You need to change the way that you study in order to practice getting the marks that you need in that exam. We underestimate the impact that our feelings, our emotions, and what's going on in our brain. We underestimate the impact that that has on our study habits and therefore our exam technique. One of the explanations of coaching is that it's a process that aims to improve performance focusing on the here and now rather than the distant future. In terms of exams, performance is absolutely crucial. How do you perform under stress, under the time restraints in an exam? That comes down to how you deal with stress, that comes down to your study habits and how you have trained yourself to perform in that exam. There's a difference between teaching someone and helping them learn, and in this case, I'm trying to, I'm helping the students improve their own performance. The intention here is to help students understand some of the challenges that they face, give them the tools and the skills so that they can apply this to their own learning, to their own studies. I've set the course to run over two months. They shouldn't be continually dependent on someone else. They are improving what they're doing and then going forth and applying it. I've got an online course that contains videos and discussions around the skills that they need to build so they can go and watch these videos as and when they need to. At the beginning of the program, I'll send students a study profile assessment and this allows me to understand the background, the context of that student, their habits and what they're doing so that I can help guide them through this course. There will be certain things, habits, techniques, etc. that they should focus more or less on depending on their particular situation, their time, whether they're doing lectures or online courses or they're studying completely on their own. So this helps us navigate, focus for that particular student the types of things that they should focus on more or less. The course contains three one-on-one -on -one sessions between myself and the student. The first session will be done after the student has done the study profile assessment, which allows me to, to talk to that student, give them, give them some guidance, motivation, encouragement, and help understand what it is that they're struggling with and where they need to focus on more. The course consists of three sessions in total, the first session being done after the study profile and the other two sessions spaced out after that depending on the student's needs. This means that we have a blended learning approach where the student can go back in their own time, watch the videos, understand the tools, the skills, and then when they spend time with me, they can unpack stuff that they're struggling with, not able to apply, don't understand, and are needing some encouragement, motivation, or to really understand whether or not this is something they need to work on for themselves. I send students emails on a regular basis. The emails contain links to certain videos in the online course because although the videos may be there, sometimes students need a little bit more guidance in terms of what to take from that video or how to adjust their next study session based on that particular video. Each of the emails are designed to be completed in under 15 minutes, including, the on, including any of the videos that need to be watched. My intention here is not to create additional work for the student. The idea is that every day they improve their habits and they improve their study sessions so that they can improve their performance in exams. I'm not adding additional time, I'm not adding additional work, additional homework on top of what they're already doing. I'm helping them structure their existing schedule. Whether they're going to classes, whether they're doing online courses, whether they have tutors, or whether they're going through the textbook, they they need to learn how to maximize whatever they're doing and whatever time they have available.